Sometimes gut feel in farming is not enough and it's nice to know that you're on the right track by more objective measures. For Victorian mixed farmer Todd Martin, the new DNA flock profile test provided that reinforcement he needed that his management strategy was taking him in the right direction. We're a little bit surprised with the results but they were along the lines of what our gut feel was um, but that's still pretty useful because it, you know, it means uh, I suppose it reinforces the decisions we were, we were making and the, the ideas we had. Um, so it was just a good way to get some, I suppose, ob objective information to tell us we're on the right track or not. But the test also gave him insight into how to fine tune his decision making to stretch his production even further. It shows that there are still areas that we need to work on but I guess that's exactly the point. It shows you exactly what areas you need to look at moving forward. Mr Martin runs a self-replacing merino flock of 1500 ewes for prime lamb production with terminal size used across cull ewes. As such his breeding objective is based around the business's profit drivers of growth rate and fertility. The DNA flock profile results showed us that we're probably around the top third for our carcass traits uh, in the database, um, whereas our wool traits were down around the middle of the database. Uh, so moving forward that's something we need to be aware of. Uh, we don't want to take the eye off the, the wool traits altogether, um, but we're heading in the right direction where, we, where we're hoping to be, certainly with our carcass and fertility traits. Mr Martin is currently marking 130% of lambs and weaning at 40 kilograms live weight at 13 weeks, which equates to a growth rate of more than 300 grams a day. And while he believes these are good results, he believes they can be better, aiming for 150% lambs at marking, plus faster growth rates from his first cross lambs and 7 to 8 kilos of 19 micron wool from his ewes, only achievable through good management and the selection of the right genetics. Later this year when we select new rams for the ram team, uh, we'll use Ram Select Plus and we'll be able to put those rams potential sale rams into ram select plus and we'll be able to see what effect they're likely to have on our flock profile going forward as these ram selection decisions flow through to his flock's performance mr martin plans to repeat the dna flock profile test every three to four years this will ensure he has a precise measure of his flock status so that he can continue to refine his genetic selections into the future